Okay. We're talking about Job again, and we're at the end. We're discussing where the Lord says to his friend Eliphaz, or whatever his name is, I'm angry with you and your two friends because you have not spoken of me what is right, as my servant Job has. And then tells them to sacrifice uh, some stuff and have Job pray for you so that he will accept Job's prayer and not deal with you according to your folly. Because, as he says again, you have not spoken of me what is right, as my servant Job has. Mm -hmm. And so we're talking about, like uh, Abraham, saying Abraham has not wavered when we can clearly see he has. We can look back in the book of Job and see that there are things that Job said that weren't right about God. Just like there, and there were things that his friends said that were. Go, say it. Okay. Job never accused, I don't know that it says in here that he accused him. He just was over, he spoke out of, of grief. Mm hmm I don't, why did you make me, why did you have me be born? Why? Yeah. Um, or did, did he, I don't think he made accusations. He never, I don't, I don't remember that, seeing anywhere where he accused the Lord of anything. He mm -hmm. just, like, uh. Like this little thing that I just read, I cry out to you, O God, but you do not answer me. I stand up, but you merely look at me. You turn on me ruthlessly. With the might of your hand, you attack me. You snatch me up and drive me before the wind. You toss me about in the storm. I know that you will bring me down to death to the place appointed uh, for all the living. So that's in chapter 30. And that's not true, um, mm -hmm. what he says, but we're talking about how what is spoken, how Job spoke what is right versus his friends not speaking what is right, we're believing that what the Lord is revealing is it's the position of their hearts. And so even though Job said these things, um, which, which this thing that wasn't true about what God was doing, the position of his heart was right because he wasn't accusing God. He was crying out in his despair. Mm -hmm. um, and like you were saying, the uh, friends had a heart of accusation toward Job and toward God, um, saying that God was accusing Job. So it was an accusation. Or why else would he do this? Yes. So their heart had a, they mm. had hearts of accusation toward the situation, ascribing that accusation to God over Job and then to Job themselves going, fess up, mm -hmm. you've done something. But Job's heart was pure. Um, and right with the Lord, never accusing him, never um, cursing him or rejecting him or, or uh, blaming him. He, um, even though he ascribed all that happened to him to God, he didn't blame God. He just despaired. Right. Right. So yeah, it's still, true. so still the position of his heart was right. Therefore, the Lord was able to say, you have not said what is right about me. You have not spoken what is right. But, to the other guys. Mm -hmm, to the friends, but Job has. And so even though we can clearly, like, just reading what they've said go, well, that doesn't seem true, we have to understand the position of their hearts. Yeah. And the difference between a heart of accusation and a heart that's pure and just crying out in hopelessness and despair. Either way, what any of them said wasn't good. And and God made that plain to them when he was like, where were you when mm -hmm. I did all of this? Answer me this, Job. Yeah. So, he... And, you know, yeah. um, he didn't even talk to the other three guys until the very... Did he? Until the very, very end? Not until this part. I don't think so. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, when he, he first Job, spoke... Like, yeah. Um, yeah, when he first spoke, he said, and then the Lord answered Job out of the storm. Yeah. And so he only addresses Job and yeah. says, where were you when all of this yeah. stuff happened? Stuff happened when I created the heavens and the earth, when I did all of these things. And I love how he talks about the Leviathan. And I did you? I know. I did too. Nuts. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, and then all Job can say is I'm unworthy. Uh -huh. And how can I reply to you? I put my hand over my mouth. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I love here again, when Job replies to the Lord, um, 
you asked, who is this that obscures my counsel with words, uh, my counsel without knowledge? Surely I spoke of things I did not understand. Mm. Things too wonderful for me to know. So immediately he repents, yeah. you know. It's like, even though he's, his heart was still pure and he cried out to the Lord, why is this happening to me? And God goes, do you, where's the authority that you have to ask me why? And he's like, what was, I don't know. Nope, did, did I was he wrong. Ask why? Well, just the. Or did he just say, what was me, basically? Ah, I don't know. That's a good question. I felt like it was a, hmm. um, like it was a why because he kept going, I've done nothing wrong. God has just done this to me. Well, maybe it's just God has just done this to me without cause. There's no, I haven't done anything to deserve this. So maybe I'm interpreting it as him going, why would you do this? I haven't done anything wrong when, when I, I need know. to read it I again. And Job yeah. is just going, I haven't done anything wrong. This just happened. Yeah. And he was speaking out of despair and out of like, uh, he was defending himself a lot. Job was. Yeah. And then in one chapter, he he def pretty much is just speaking for God, just defending God. I even wrote it down. But I don't know that we need to just jump into that. Yeah. If it was, did he, he didn't, yeah. I don't know. You know, something else too, is that I noticed that the more that his friends accuse and attack him, the more it's solidified in Job that God must have done this without cause. Oh, okay. You know, because the more he defends himself and goes, no, really, I haven't done anything, the more it's solidified that, no, I really have not done oh, anything yes. wrong. Yeah. Okay, yeah. God has me. done this without um, provocation. Just, he's just done it and it becomes a stronger and stronger. My, it seems to me, I'm not saying that I just have to read it again, but it seems to me like he becomes more adamant and going, and more despairing throughout the book of going, I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I am blameless. I am pure. God just, like, destroys the upright along with the unjust. I, that has to be the only conclusion. Well, I, I wrote in my notes, even when Job thinks it is God, which it isn't, Job still honors him. Mm -hmm. You know, and then right here, he's, um, oh, that my word, this is what, uh, 19 verse just 23. Oh, that my words were recorded, that they were written on a scroll, that they were inscribed with an iron tool on lead or engraved in rock forever. I know that my redeemer lives. I mean, he's, he's still honoring God totally. Yeah. And that. In the end, he will stand upon the earth, and after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes, and I, I, and not another. How my heart yearns within me. Mm -hmm. I mean, wow. Um, and I also notice, too, that Job's friends get a little more hostile as time goes on. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... See, and right before that, it's like... And that's that's why, I mean, I, 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 I agree. But even in his despair, he still honors the Lord. It's mm -hmm. not... It's the intention of his heart, the positioning of his heart. Because up here he goes, if I... If indeed you would exalt yourselves above me and use my humiliation against me, then know that God has wronged me and has drawn his net around me. So these are things that aren't true, you know. The hand of God has struck me. Mm -hmm. Why do you pursue me as God, uh, God does? You will never get enough of my flesh. And right after that, oh, that my words were recorded mm -hmm. because I know that my Redeemer lives, you know. And that in the end he will stand up upon the earth. So, but I, it's still like I read that and... And so, Lord, bring clarity, because I read that as this conviction of I am upright and blameless. I will see the Lord because I know That's good. that I have lived an upright and blameless mm -hmm. life. So, so it's this 
this deepening and, and solidifying conviction that I have not done wrong. The Lord's hand is against me. I will see him. He is good. He is, you know, he is, um, or maybe not good. He is holy. He is perfect. Mm -hmm. He is just. Um, he is, you know, all of these things. Um, maybe not just. I don't know. <laughs> but um, but I, I know where I stand with him. Mm. And he's doing all these things without provocation because I know where I stand with him. Yeah. So it's not even... For me, I wonder if it's not even about God, but it's about his relationship with God or how he believes God sees him. You know, I don't know. Um, but even in that, it, that's still true and right. Mm -hmm. He is speaking truth that he does know, and it is true, that um, his, redeemer, his Redeemer lives and that in the end he will stand upon the earth and after... My skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. I will see God. Like he, that's true. Yeah. Um, but he has this conviction of like, no guys, you don't get it. I haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. And I'm in right standing with the Lord. He's just done this stuff for me, to me, without cause. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it just <clears throat> sounds like confusion on Job's part. He knows who God is, and he wouldn't dare um, question uh, his holiness and power. Okay, what did what exact what accusation did Satan say when when you take it all away, he will what curse you to your face? He will surely curse you to your so. Stretch out your hand and strike everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. Very well. Everything he has is in your hands, but on the man himself, do not lay a finger. And then... And the fact is, Satan's going, you stretch out your hand and take away to God. But in fact, the enemy did it. Oh, yeah, because what he's, he's telling God something that he's... Prov he's trying to make God do something that he does, but God doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. So Satan's going, go ahead and do this stuff that I do. And God's like, do what you do. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't do that. You do that. Mm -hmm. But then here, um, yeah, a man will give all he has for his own life, yeah. but stretch out your hand and strike his flesh and bones, and he will surely curse you to your face. He is in your hands, but you must spare his life. So when it comes down to it, Job never cursed him. Right. Um, okay. Thank God. Sophie is good. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's what Satan was trying to get Job to do is in all of this, have Job reject God, curse God to his face, you know, yeah. yell out to him and go, I don't like you anymore. And Job and, never did that. And 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 Satan would go see, mm -hmm. you know, you knew that you took away all of his blessing and his health and everything. He would curse you because mm -hmm. that's, yeah, because they're just like me. Yeah. Okay, I have this.